Uh, peace to you everywhere you are. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, may the Almighty God bring to you your wish and answers and answers today. Let us look at the topic you have now. So by using any language, you communicate, you give ideas, but it could be a problem if we do not know ourselves. That's why I bring you the body part of human in Kiswahili. So human body parts in Kiswahili, especially external ones. Because we can't want them internal and external at the same time. Part of human body in Kiswahili are called Sehemu Zamiri Wamutu. Mutu is a human a person. Sehemu Zamiri Wamutu. So they are needed vocabularies. In our daily life and movement we, are, we make, you know, just we need to know ourselves. Because you can't know language without knowing parts which made your own body. Tunajua kwamba, mili wetu unajengwa na sehemu tofauti. Zikiwemo za inje na za andani. We know that our body is made of different parts include external and internal. Leo tunatazama sehemu za inje tu. So today we're going to look at external parts only. Without wasting time, I would like to start. Nina anzia kwenye kingeleza halaf na kupa kiswahili. So I will give you an English body part, then translate it in kiswahili. We start. The first part is the head. The head. So the head in English in kiswahili is kichwa. Kichwa. Today I would like to spell all names I'm going to give you because you, I want you to write them well and use the, well in your daily life. So I'm going to spell each body part I give you. So Kichwa is K-I-C-H-W-A. This is the head. So I'm going to I'm gonna give you an example. I can say, his head is big. In Kiswahili is, kichwa chake ni kikubga. Kichwa chake ni kikubga. Chake is a C-H, not C only. It's chake ni kikubga. The second part is, heya. Heya, in Kiswahili is, nyuele. Nyuele. Spelling N Y W E L E. The third one is forehead. Forehead. So it's kipaji. Kipaji is made of K I P A. J I Another one is I I is Jicho Jicho I Eyes is macho So I is J I C H O While eyes is M A C H O. So the following parts is ear, plural ears. 
So we say, Sikiyo. In plural is, Ma Sikiyo. And here's is spelling as follow. S I K I O. Here. A sentence. We reason by using ears. We reason by using ears. Tunasikia kwa kutumia masikio. Tunasikia kwa kutumia masikio. So that is ears. Another one is mouth. 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 Mouth is Kinyua. K I N Y W A. So this is mouth in Kiswahili. Lip, lips, lip, lips, lip is midomo, midomo, lips, midomo. So mdomo is M D O M O. I can give an example in a sentence. He kissed her lips. He kissed her lips. Alibusu midomo yake. Alibusu midomo yake. So a tank in Kiswahili is ulimi, tang. Ulimi. When simplo is ndimi. Example in a sentence. We speak because we have a tongue. We speak because we have a tongue. So in Kiswahili you can say tunazungumza tunazungumza kwa sababu tuna Ulimi. Our chin in English is kidevu. Kidevu. K-I-D-E-V-U. Neck in Kiswahili is shingo. Shingo is s h I N G O. Let me give you an example in a sentence. Shingo yangu inaumwa. My neck is aching. Shingo yangu inaumwa. Inaumwa. My neck is aching. Shurda. Is beggar, shoulders, ma beggar. Beggar is B E G A. A belly is called tumbo. When many, when there are many, they call matumbo. Ampit is kwapa. Tumbo is T U. M B O while ampit is kwapa kwapa is K W A P A the nerve is kitovu kitovu is K I T O V U, while back is mgongo, mgongo, M, G, O, N, G, O. Here there, there is a sentence about mgongo. It says, mother carries a body, sorry, a baby on the back. Mother Carries a baby on the back. In Kiswahili, I can say, 
mama anabeba mtoto mgongoni on the back mgongoni when you add ni on in other name especially general names it becomes adverb so mgongoni on the back Batox is Q1, K, I, U, N, O, while a leg is Mgu. You just remember when we have two vowels, the similar vowels following, following each other, we, 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 we speak them as they are long. So this is just long vowels when they are doubled. That's why we say, Mgu. So it means W. M G W. Mgu. A legs. Legs are Migu. So we can't forget am in Kiswahili is Mkono. M K O N it is mikono. A finger is kidole. Kidole. So K I D O L E. In pro it is fingers. A palm is kiganja. K I G A N J A in pro is viganja. So in Kiswahili, foot also is migu mugu. That's why they say football is loved. You say Mupila wa migu unapenwa. Ni in Kiswahili is goti, goti, in proma goti, goti. So, uh, in a sentence I can say, I kneel down. In Kiswahili, in Tasema, nina piga magoti. So, kupiga magoti is in the plural. For those who understand Nyagwanda, you can say, gupfukama, kupiga magoti, gupfukama. Okay, that's all. Um, so that's that's what I brought to you today. I hope you continue by subscribing on my channel so that you can get a lot of people learning Swahili online. Inform your friends, your neighbors, and when there is what to collect, inform me. So may the Almighty God be with you today. Shall meet next time. Ja bless you.